Introduction to Numbers from 21 to 30. Hello friends, I am the parrot. I welcome you to this lesson. Let's see what you will learn in this lesson. Numbers from 21 to 30 and reading those numbers as units and tens. Children, it is very hot today. Chotu thought why not serve sherbet to all the people coming his lane today? Mummy, today I want to serve sherbet to all the people coming to our lane. Would you help me? Sure Chotu, I will make sherbet for you. You keep them in a plate and carry. Okay Mummy. Chotu, only 10 sherbets can be kept in one plate. Can you count and tell me how many glasses of sherbet is there in the plate? Children, can you tell me how many sherbets are there in the plate? Come, let's see. Mummy, there are 9 sherbets in the plate right now. Am I right? Yes, Chotu, you are absolutely right. So, this means, Chotu, that right now we have 9 units. Yes, Mummy, I remember. Now, if we put one more glass in this plate, it will be a group of 10 glasses. And we call it as 110. You are absolutely right, Chotu. Here you go, Chotu. Your sherbet is ready. Children, can you tell me how many glasses of sherbet Chotu's mother has made? Yes, you are right, children. Chotu has two plates of 10 sherbets each. It means two tens. This means Chotu has 20 glasses of sherbet. Together, Chotu and our team distributed all the glasses filled with sherbet. But they need more sherbet now. Mummy, give us some more glasses of sherbet. Okay, Chotu. Here you go. I have made some more sherbet. Keep it in this plate and take it outside. Yes, Mummy. Okay. Children, can you tell me how many glasses of sherbet were distributed by Chotu and Aarti together? Come on, let's see. First of all, Chotu distributed two groups of 10 glasses, that is 20 glasses of sherbet, and then 5 more glasses, that makes it 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Chotu distributed 25 glasses of sherbet. Children, in these 25 glasses, 2 means 2 tens and 5 means 5 units. After some time, some more friends of Chotu came home and Chotu's mother made more sherbet for them. Let's see how many glasses of sherbet was made. Chotu distributed a total of 25 glasses of sherbet and after that 5 more glasses. So that makes it 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That means 30 glasses which we write like this. So children, in 30 there are 3 tens and 0 units. So children, this means today 30 glasses of sherbet were made in Chotu's house. So children, that was all for today. In this video, you learned numbers from 21 to 30 and how to read those numbers as units and tens. In the next video, we will learn to read numbers from 31 to 40 and how to read those numbers as units and tens. Until then, bye children. Introduction to Numbers from 31 to 40 Hello children, in the previous video we learnt numbers from 21 to 30 and read those numbers as units and tens. In this video we will see some interesting examples of reading numbers from 31 to 40 and reading those numbers as units and tens. Today, Chotu went to buy pencils from the market. Let us see what he is doing with it now. Now I have lot of pencils with me. I will count all the pencils. 
Firstly, here is a box of pencils with ten pencils. That is one tenth. Then I took another pencil box containing ten more pencils, meaning one more tenth. After that, another pencil box containing ten pencils, which means one more tenth. So, children, can you tell me how many pencils Chotu has? Come on, let us see. I have three groups of ten pencils, which means three tens. That is thirty pencils. And here are my five old pencils. So thirty pencils, meaning thirty units, with five more pencils. So five units more. Children, can you tell me how many pencils does Chotu have now? Come on, let's see. Chotu had thirty pencils. Followed by thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. So Chotu has thirty five pencils in total. In thirty five pencils, three means three tens, and five means five units, which means total thirty five pencils. After some time, Chotu's mother found some more of his pencils. Chotu. See, I have got five more of your pencils. Keep these together as well. Okay, mummy. I had thirty-five pencils, and now five pencils more, and that means five units more. After thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. So now I have forty pencils. Yes, Chotu, you are right. How many tens do you have now, Mummy? Forty pencils, meaning I have four tens, isn't it, Mummy? And units, Mummy? There are no units in forty. Yes, Chotu. There are only four tens in forty and zero units. So, children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw numbers from twenty-one to forty. and some interesting examples of reading those numbers as units and tens in the next video we will see some interesting examples of numbers from 21 to 40 and learn about some common mistakes which should not be done till then goodbye friends Interesting examples of numbers from twenty-one to forty. Hello, children. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of numbers from twenty-one to forty. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of numbers from twenty-one to forty and learn about some common mistakes which should not be done. Children. Today a lot of guests are coming to Chotu's house. Food is being prepared with a lot of excitement. Chotu's mother has sent Chotu to the market to get paper plates and spoons. Take mother, I have got the plates and spoons. Chotu, how many plates have you got? Mummy, on this packet it's written 40 plates, meaning four groups of 10 plates and another group of Ten plates with it. Hey, no, no, Chotu, you are reading it wrong. It's written here, forty plates, which is four groups of ten plates. But mummy, even zero is written here. What about it, Chotu? Here zero is written in place of unit, which means not a single open plate, and instead of ten, it is written four. Which means four groups of ten plates, meaning forty plates. So a total of forty plates are there in this packet. Okay, now I have understood, Mummy. It's evening now, and guests are coming to Chotu's house. Chotu and Arti are serving the guests. Chotu, where have you kept the spoons that you had bought? I have kept all the spoons in the kitchen. Come, I will show you. Hey, Chotu, 
These are how many spoons? I have taken 30 groups of 10 spoons from the shop. But 30 groups are a lot and these spoons seems very less. Come on Chotu, let's count them again. Okay, let us count these again. Chotu, let us divide them into groups of 10 to count them. That will make it easier to count. Yes, you are right. Let us do this. 10 tens, 10 tens and another 10 tens. So this is a total of 30 tens. Hey Chotu, you are counting it wrong. A group of 10 means 1 ten. Children, do you think that Chotu has bought 30 sets of 10 spoons? Come on, let's see. Chotu, these are just 30 spoons. There will be 30 tens and 30. 30 does not mean 30 tens, but 30 units. 30 tens would be too many spoons. Okay, now I have understood. You are right, Aarti. Come on, let's take spoons for the guests. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we learned that 0 does not mean 10 at the end of a number and 3 tens means 30 units, not 30 tens. I hope you would have understood this topic. Bye friends.